What's up everybody? Today we're gonna do full day of eating and basically a day in the life. I just woke up, it's like 8.30 a.m. something like that. It's very early. So the first thing I'll do is check my body weight. Ninety two point two with a three hundred gram camera. I had checked that, so ninety one point nine. That's all right. Um, it's actually f a bit heavier than the last few days, so that is all right. No matter how groggy and bad you're feeling when you wake up, if you wake up and go into a really really cold thing and then stay there for like 5 minutes, something like that, and also get in that early sunlight exposure, you're not gonna feel groggy anymore. So, I'm feeling pretty good right now, but we don't, we're not done yet with the hard morning stuff, so... What the hell? What to say that? <laughs> So now we're outside again. I always try and make sure that I need something for my breakfast so I can get that at the nearest grocery. However, I don't actually need anything right now, but I have thought about adding something, uh, some macadamia nuts to one of my other meals. So I can go and see if they have that. And if they have that, then I'll buy it. If they don't, then I won't. Bruh. But then I'll actually combine this walk to the grocery with a run to the grocery. Not an actual run, because I can't run, and that's why I'm doing it. Um, because I would like to gain the ability back to run. Because I basically figured out that I get pain in like my feet, and my knees, and my calves, and all this kind of stuff. If I just run for like one minute. And I think that's for me gaining like 20 kg since the last time I ran anything. And me only training like squat bench and deadlift. Um, so, yeah. I'll also take these on, but I actually won't power them. I won't turn them on or anything like that, so I won't hear anything. Um, it's just so that like, I can't hear the outside world, so I'm just running with no sounds. Uh, I prefer it that way a hundred times. So for meal number one here, we have five eggs, or one liter of chocolate milk, 50 grams of bread, and 20 grams of cheese. Cheese. So meal number one comes down to 1260 calories, 115 grams of carbs, 51 grams of fat and 76 grams of protein. And this is my body weight after breakfast. Damn boy, he fit. That's a lot of body weight. It has been a few hours. I have just chilled a bit. I've just played with some friends. I've answered all my clients and I have uh, basically just chilled out. So uh, now we're gonna go shop. I need some chicken and some rice. We already have the rice. I just need the chicken. And I'll show you how you can meal prep for, I think it's four or five days. You can obviously just buy more of it. So how you can meal prep for like a whole week in literally five minutes once you have the, the things that you need to. So it's pretty crazy. It's actually literally five minutes. So let me show you. We are home. The oven is on and the rice is cooking. And now I'm gonna show you how to make chicken for a week. In five minutes. So what you do is you find some chicken that's in a like container like this and then you put it in the oven. And that's it. That is the entire meal done. It's 150 grams of rice, 250 grams of chicken thighs and whatever spices you like to do. I just put on all the stuff that is in my kitchen and it's around 1500 calories 127 grams of carbs 63 grams of fat and 82 grams of protein all right everybody i took my pre out, chilled a bit and um now we're gonna go to the gym want to say hi oh well it's in my headphones so nobody can hear it but 
Didi is also here on the phone, but uh, she's going to like uh, Netherlands or some weird place now. Uh, yeah, Northern Ireland, some kind of weird place that I don't. So uh, yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. But uh, now it's time to deadlift and hit a back session. What's up, guys? We are at the gym, and today we got some deadlifts. We got pause deadlifts. Should be fairly easy. I got some really really high rep stuff with pauses, so that's gonna be brutal. Even though it's low intensity, it's still so high reps that it is gonna be difficult. Um, and we also got a pretty heavy top set today. A set of two at RPE 5. RPE is very low, but I'm very strong right now, so that can still be a heavy weight even though it's a low RPE. So it's basically uh, my seven rep max that I'm gonna do for a double today in a pause deadlift. Um, I mean, if it's really, really good, it's gonna be 260. If it's regular, it's gonna be like 250 to 255. And um, last week I did 250 instead of three at RP5, so it should be 255 at least. Um, however, I have the bad platform again. The other day you saw me pull 270 kg extremely easy. It was on a good platform, which means it was completely solid. This platform right here, it's basically very, very soft here um, because we got some noise complaints from upstairs because we were banging the weights on the floor. So we had to make these like soft pads here and basically it is really really bad to deadlift on and it feels pretty awkward compared to the competition setup of the deadlift. So um, not super high expectations. I also had one day like five days ago where I didn't get in my calories. I was like 800 calories off so uh, that's why I'm not super uh, high expectations for this session but uh, should anyways be pretty good and set me good up for Saturday where I will have very high expectations and more about that later.
home from the gym and now it's time to get some food. But first up, we're gonna walk over to Dita's place. While Dita's not actually home, uh, her cats are, but she has went to like a work trip, so uh, her cats need some attention. So we'll go over there now. Now for my last meal here, I have 230 grams of flank steak, 333 grams of sweet potato, some nuts, and I also have a few other snacks throughout the day, which comes to a total of around 4,200 calories, 230 grams of protein, 175 grams of fat, and 410 grams of carbs. Everything that I have on my diet is now eaten, and now I'm just going for a walk after dinner. Um, being in the sunlight here is optimal for sleep, so I'm doing that. Getting in some uh, early and late sunlight exposure should be good for your like circadian rhythm and all this stuff. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, not sure exactly if I feel a difference, but there should be a difference. So I'm counting on Andrew Huberman and. Uh, yeah, going for a late night walk will help me digest my dinner, or at least it feels like I'm digesting my dinner a bit quicker, um, so I'm not as full in the stomach when I go to sleep. And it's a pretty chill way to end out the day. Um, I again don't have anything, any sounds in my headphones, I just have them on to block all the noises that are around me. So again, no podcasts, no nothing, just... Uh, just chilling and that was pretty much it for today's video so thank you guys for tuning in and uh, make sure to come along on maybe sunday or monday when i will post another vlog video which will be about me at a competition lifting at a competition